This is probably really bad for me, I'm guessing. So you should try and find a way to get the, uh, the fumes that are coming off this thing away because yeah, ventilate. Hey, how's it going and welcome back. I'm Rory from Rate My Funeral. That was Rate, by the way. Welcome back to this. This is the part two. Previously, I had been sent this laser engraver, which is the off which is the Auteur Laser Master Pro, which is the Auteur Laser Master 2 Pro. I, I don't know why in the last video I kept pronouncing Auteur very strangely. The beautiful people over at Auteur sent me this, the Auteur. No idea why, so I don't know. <laughs> so obviously in that video we covered assembly, putting it all together and getting it all ready, and now we're at the fun part. Now we're at the point where let's see what we can actually do with this. Now. I've got a bunch of different materials. I've got this brand new load of uh, plywood sheets, and I've got this old dog tag that I found in my bedside drawer. Everybody has them, right? Um, but it's got no detail, so I thought I'll try and laser engrave the uh, some words onto it. I don't know, give it a try. And I'll probably find some other stuff to try and do and just see what it does. The other thing that I didn't really mention much in the last video was this. They also sent me this kind of roller mechanism, which actually allows you to put cylindrical objects on, um, and so, like for example, you could engrave onto a glass and stuff like that. So, if I get to that in this video, I will. If not, we'll cover this in its own video. And I've got some tiles from when I did my bathroom. I had these two over, so these are making an absolutely perfectly sized test area that I can use to place the things on and so on. So, we need to get the software installed and get it all connected and calibrate it and so on. But safety first. It's got the shield, but I'm working this side, which means I'm not looking through the shield. So I need to make sure I'm wearing the glasses so that I don't look at the laser. Super, super important. Don't look at the laser. Just, just don't do it. Just don't. Okay, so it's all connected and ready to go. And I'm gonna start off with a super, super simple test which is just to put my logo onto this piece of wood. But what we need to do first is focus the laser so that this is at the exact right height above this in order to get you know, a perfect engraving. And that is where this comes in. Simple little piece of metal. Now basically what we do is we use the software to turn on the laser by just clicking this focus button here. And just for my own safety, the goggles are on. And that is now putting a dot on my piece of wood. And if I unscrew this thumb screw, I can raise this up, I can raise this up and place this here. And we use that as a rough guide. That basically, that is about right. So if I take that out now, that laser should be about right. The other way you can do it is just by moving it up and down until it is like it's the tiniest dot. But it does seem that it's pretty accurate to use this, tighten it up a bit and then take it out like so. And now we should be pretty well focused. I'll turn off the, the laser and pop that back in there. <laughs> right, so here we are on the Auto website and I found the uh, laser engraver. Uh, there's a bunch of details on here. You can see the description, uh, all the information about it. But the one I am specifically looking for is the downloads option. So we'll look under support and then here, there's a bit of information about the driver and here it is. So I'll download the 64-bit version. I will just now install this file. I'll just go through the in the installer just pressing next the whole way. Yeah, next, next. And that basically does the job. That installs the driver, it's ready to go. Okay, so now that the driver is installed, we now need to install all this. I guess you'd call it laser garble. So it's laser GRBL laser garble there are some other options as well there's a light burn which is a paid software but this will do um, for what we want to do so I'll just go to the website and I'll look for the download here let's get rid of that uh, so we're looking for the download which is there we'll download the file once that's done I can run the XE and I'll just hit next yeah go for it all right we're good to go So this is our canvas and this is where we're going to do everything uh, in the 
for the imagery stuff. Now the next thing I'm going to do is set where the home is. So somewhere on the middle of this piece of wood, I need to make sure that that is where it considers home. So I'm going to turn on my light again, just for my own reference, and then use the arrows to position it so that that is approximately in the middle. I could measure it and do it all perfectly, but this will do the job fine. Now that's about it there. Then what I can do is just press this one here. That is now the home position. And if I move it away, and then press home, it will always go back to that position. So that we know is our starting point. The next thing I need to do is get a file into the software to laser onto there. Okay, so I have a logo here. I've already set this logo up and I know that that is exactly 45 millimeters wide. So it will fit on that piece of wood really well. So we've got a bunch of different options. For this one, I'm just gonna start off with line to line tracing. So basically this, as it says, will produce a grayscale image. You've also got this one, which would kind of do a, a rough grayscale image. This will try and vectorize it, but as you can see, it's a bit weird in this case. Uh, center line, yeah, no, it's not gonna help us here. And pass through, I'm not worried about those for now. I'm just gonna stick with the first one. Uh, quality, so that's lines per millimeter. The higher this number, the better the image is gonna be, but obviously the longer it will take. However, this is a fast engraver, so I'm gonna start off with 10 and just see what happens. So here, it's gonna ask me a few questions, and I wanna click this little book here, and then I can choose, I've definitely got the right one, and it's the 20 watt laser. The material is actually uh, plywood. And we, want, we don't wanna cut it, we want to engrave it. So it's suggesting 3000 um, speed and power 80%. So we'll do apply to that, and that will set those settings for us. Okay, finally is the size. Got to be a little bit careful here. The auto size, I'd, I've had some trouble with this, fully understanding this, but I think if I put in here 45 as my width, because I know that's what my width should be, that should be the correct size on my piece of wood. I also want to make sure I've definitely hit this um, little crosshair here, because then that will put the center of my logo on the center point where that I homed to zero a minute ago. So let's press create. And there we go, we've made our, that's what our logo should look like. And with a bit of luck, when I hit this little start button up here, it will look good. Let's do it. Okay, there you go. We have successfully engraved RMF onto this piece of wood. It doesn't look bad. 
I'm sure it'll be fine. There's a couple of things to bear in mind now that we've got that initial test. One, make sure you've got decent ventilation. This is probably really bad for me, I'm guessing. So you should try and find a way to get the, uh, the fumes that are coming off this thing away because yeah, ventilate. The other is it's all about kind of trial and error to find the right settings. This is not a, an, well, actually it probably is an absolute science. I shouldn't really say that it's not. Anyway, it's about figuring out what works best in what methods. I've managed to engrave something on there. It's helped me understand how this works and what to do with it. So what can I do next? That's what I now want to find out. Okay, so I've got another credit card size bit of ply. And I think this time I'm going to try cutting it out. Now, first of all, I need to just refocus to ensure that, you know, the it's at the right height. So I'll just re-align re, uh, that using the little metal bar. Then I'll switch on the light, uh, the laser, and guarantee that I'm right in the center. I don't need to be absolutely exact, but that'll do. Set it running, and now it's cutting out. Now, I'm leaving it running in full speed, like normal speed, um, on the video, so that you can get an idea of exactly how long it takes. In just a minute, I will speed it up. Um, so that we don't have to watch the entire thing, but you can kind of get an idea It's moving pretty quickly considering that it is actually cutting through this wood Which I think is really cool. Actually. I think that's really quite impressive. Uh, it looks a little bit odd on the camera, so um, It's kind of a, a little bit psychedelic, but uh, you can see it's, it's moving fairly quickly and it is uh, uh, cutting through the wood nicely and just as a note I have left the room <laughs> this time um, and now we're running at about 250 percent speed just uh, so that's why it seems like it's moving a bit quicker now So we're now running back at real time speed. So this is the, the normal speed, just so that you can see it finish. And yeah, this is, this is coming out pretty well. I love the little jingle to let you know it's done. We'll just move the, uh, the laser out of the way and then I can get to the pieces. And as you can see, that has cut those out extremely accurately. You get that nice kind of slight burning around the edges um, which I think looks really cool and yeah it's uh, it's it's really sharp it's done a, a really really sharp job impressive next I am going to try the dog tag now I'll just set this going and what we are looking at here I think it's stainless steel I don't know to be completely honest but it's very very shiny like chrome um, so uh, yeah um, it's um, engraving on just some random words uh, I lined it all up in Photoshop I did measure it out with the calipers so that I could ensure that I was putting everything in the right position um, and you can really see the little laser dot this text is actually very very small um, and because of that I set the resolution like the, the lines per millimeter I set that like really really high um, I think I set it to about sort of 20 25 um, and it's also moving very slowly so that uh, it definitely engraves the uh, the shiny surface well um, now because this will take quite some time I will speed this up so right now it is moving in real time and it's doing the first word down the bottom um, but I'll speed this up now so that uh, so that you can, you know, you don't have to sit and watch the whole thing super, super slow.
and we'll go back to normal speed now just so that we can see the last few little bits and hear that cool little noise and there we go so we'll just move this out of the way and try to pick this up and here you can see it has engraved the words on incredibly well like it's really really sharp how well that's put that on there it's impressive so yeah another another successful test i like it okay well there we go that is the otto i'm not going to try and say the name again i'll put it on the screen <laughs> But remember, you can check out the link in the description to get more details on this. Uh, there's a link through to the website where you can go and grab one of these. Now, the important points are, to be fair, putting it together, very, very easy. Was not a lot of effort at all. It is fairly easy to use, but it does take some understanding. And I still need to get to grips with some elements still. I've figured out how to do all the basics, but I'm sure there's a lot more to learn about this. Very similar to 3D printing. There's a lot of trial and error. There's a lot of you just try things and see what they do. For example, I, I had a couple of failures and unfortunately the camera didn't record them so they didn't work. I tried to put my logo into this sheet of uh, per acrylic perspex and uh, it basically just melted an outline so that didn't work. And also I tried to make this cube which it was supposed to cut through this. Unfortunately, again, it didn't cut through enough so I didn't do it enough times. And unfortunately, again, the camera uh, didn't film it so I don't have the footage of that. I might have another go at some point uh, but for now, yeah, this didn't work. So if you want to have a play with laser engraving, I would actually recommend this is a good one. You get a very big size, you know, four, uh, 40 by 40 centimeters. Uh, you can use it on and you can sort of raise this up and position it how you need to position it. It's got a safety cut off if you have a problem. It's a good little bit of kit. So remember, do check out in the description the information about it and drop us a comment if you've had a play with anything like this. I'm always curious to hear other people's uh, experiences with these types of things. Now, thank you very much for joining me on this video. Now, this will be the last RMF tech videos on the Rate My Funeral YouTube channel. But they still will exist. I am just going to simply move them. I have another channel called RMF Tech. Please head on over there and subscribe. That is where all future tech related videos are going to go. So I'm just doing a little bit of tidying, putting the tech stuff together, the animation and Cinema 4D stuff together, separating it a little bit. But in the future, they'll all be over there. So please do make sure you head over to that channel, hit the subscribe button over there. Yeah, I really, really hope I see you in the next video. Okay, cheers, bye. Thank you.